Hey everybody, how's it going? Eric Gallahan back here with another beer review. Excuse me. We are still on the third wheel brewing train. New one they just released this past Saturday, the 11th of March, because today is the, uh, let's see, what is it? today's the 17th. So happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody who's celebrating. And this one is called Free the Sun. It's a fruited sour with lactose, vanilla, and orange peel. Sweet orange peel. And it says on the bottom here, brewed with special, lac brewed with special um, lactose, vanilla, sweet orange peel. So that's exactly the same. Pilsner grains, white wheat grains, and it says no hops. There's no hops in here at all, or at least I'm not seeing any on the label. And I think this this uh, label is pretty cool. It's got a lady with sunglasses on, and I'll zoom that in a little there. That is what it's supposed to taste like. Those are dream sickles. So uh, I guess with the vanilla and the sweet orange, you get a little bit of that uh, orange or that dream sickle type smell, smell, dream sickle type flavoring. And I think the free the sun name is pretty appropriate as well. Um, you know, we're breaking out of winter and into spring. So I think that kind of makes sense. Time for the sun to start coming up, warming things up. And again, it's a 16 ounce can like the rest of them are. Um, hopefully this one doesn't spray. Uh, there's a little bit of give on this can. Let's tap the top here. Not too bad, a little bit, but not bad. So it's got a couple points for that. It is, flow it is filled right to the top though. Alrighty, yeah, a lot of carbonation on this one. So we're going to have to pour slowly here. Yeah. I hate that. I hate when it does this. But. It is what it is. It's got a nice. White. A little bit creamy head on top. Got a couple inches of a head. About a, a little over an inch, actually. Uh, it's straw colored. It's hazy, like most most sours are. Um, a lot of bubbles streaming up through the glass. Tons of tons and tons of bubbles. Okay, there we go. And I'll give you one more look at the can before I set it down. Can. Lady with sunglasses on. All right. Let's take a nice big sniff of this because I'm curious. Oh, yeah. Definitely smell the orange. And smelling that vanilla. Anybody who's had a dream sickle knows exactly what I'm talking about. That sweetness with the orange and the vanilla. Oh yeah. There's definitely a lot of dream sickle smell in there. Smell a little bit of grain. It's it's a sour, but I'm sure there's some wheat grains in it. I forget if it says it. Pilsner and white wheat. Yes, yeah, so sir. There are some wheat grains in it. Again, I'm sure that has to do with the the uh, very, very hazy aspect. I mean, that thing is extremely hazy. The camera doesn't do it justice. All right. I'm definitely smelling some grains. Um, anyone who's had a Sam Adams Summer Ale, I, there's a little bit of that. I mean, obviously, the summer ale, for those who've had it, is not nearly as sweet smelling. But the grain smell that you get, 
for the wheat smell that you get because there's wheat it there's that's a wheat beer as well uh that's definitely you can definitely smell that wheat okay let's give this a nice big taste because i'm i'm very excited about this one if you hadn't tell couldn't tell yet oh yeah Sour up front. It's, I mean, this is amazing. <laughs> this is really good. Um, you get that sweetness of the dream sickle type flavor. You got the vanilla and the sweet orange peel. And then, um, like most sours with me, I get a little bit of like almost like fruity pebbles. Type type taste. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this is four point nine percent. So this is very light drinking. This is a summer type beer in my opinion. Hopefully they keep this around into May and June. Yeah, there it is again. Right in the front, you get that initial sour like you get with all sour beers. Um, and, yeah, you get this vanilla. And then right at the end, like it was the first couple times, you get that Fruity Pebbles type flavor. I think that has to do with something in the sour blend or the grain. I forget what it is. It's kind of cool, though. I'm looking at the lacing. Look at the lacing on the side of the glass with the head. That's pretty neat. You don't get that all the time. So, I mean, I think you kind of get where I'm going with this. This is a five out of five. There's no doubt about it. This is my, the best one that I've had from them um, since I've started drinking these about six, seven months ago. Um, now, it's been longer than, it was early August last year, so it's been about seven months, yeah. Uh, it's been about seven months since I've started drinking these beers on a regular. This is my favorite one. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, this is definitely a five out of five. So, that's it for this one. Uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and enjoy your weekend. Take care.